Drink up, Guinevere. Drink up. We're almost there. Why, hello there, and welcome to West Mifflin, Pennsylvania. We are a stone throw away from Pittsburgh. It's right down the road. Right down the road, right over, right over there. But we're here, Kennywood Amusement Park. We're gonna get our roller coaster on. Kennywood started out as a trolley park, uh, 1899. This is an old, old park, 1899 it opened. But it's right in front of me. We're gonna go get some roller coaster action on. Look, there's one there. There's some over there, there. There is rain in the area. We're like right on the edge of the storm. It was just raining. You can see everything's all wet. But hopefully it holds out for a little while. I'm not too optimistic with that. I think we are gonna get soaked. And when I say we, I mean the little guy. Roller coaster buddy right over here. You ready to go ride some rides? Let's go. Walking down into the Kennywood main gate here. Got this, is this a carousel horse over here? Look at this thing. This is pretty cool looking. They're making an announcement. It is a cashless facility. Look at this. That's a cool little entrance way there. Let's go get it. Welcome to Kennywood. Look at this. We have Spin Invasion Area 412 taking flight in 2023. It's a brand new ride. It looks awful. I don't like spinny rides. This puts off definitely a classic park feel. Almost like Knobles or Hershey, both in Pennsylvania as well. First time ever here before. Are we on the wrong side of the road? How do we get over to the park? What? What is this? Do we have to go through a tunnel? I think we have to go under the road. Oh, 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 look, roller coasters. Whee! That looks fun. Let's go. This is kind of neat. Yeah. Artwork here, and we are for sure going through a tunnel. Golden Nugget, double down on fun. This is cool. This is not what I expected as far as walking into the park. What do you think of this? This is pretty cool. We're walking underneath the road now to get into the park itself. So when we scanned into the park, we're on the wrong side of the street. The parking lot and the gates and security and everything are on the wrong side of the road. We got some live performers over here. That roller coaster up there. All right, let's go find a ride. I missed the loop. It came through and I missed the loop. All right, we're gonna go try and ride this thing. How do we get in line for this? Is it over here? Is it over here? I think it might be over here. I, I was being silly. The line was right here in front of me. Skyrocket, it's called. So we're gonna hop in this line. I don't know, that might be the exit where I was headed, but this is definitely the way. There's no line. We're already up here. We're about to get on. Now cell phones are not allowed on the ride, so we must secure them. I'll tell you how it is in a second here. I agree. That was fun. That was a fun little ride. I didn't really expect it to be that, like, yeah. That was good. Skyrocket. Uh, we were going to hop in line again and ride it again, but we're gonna try and do the other coasters just in case it starts raining so we can kind of try everything. But that was a fun little roller coaster. Woo we have a little gift shop, a little UFO gift shop right here. This must be for Spinvasion. Oh, there it is, Spinvasion. Looks scarier on the, looks scarier on the, the uh, little billboard, the advertisement from this angle. Take me to the Thunderbolt from this angle. This guy looks like he's missing an arm but it's really just kind of tucked away on its side over here, right there. We're gonna go over to this roller coaster. How do we get there? 
Change of plans, we're going on Spinvasion. I'm not one for spinny rides. This UFO is gonna mess me up. Oh no. I'm gonna be honest, that was nowhere near as bad as I thought it was. I typically will get very, very dizzy on rides like this, but I think that upwards, downwards motion right there where they're kind of swinging back and forth helped me because I was just looking at little Randy, RP3, he was in the, in the seat ahead of me. So I was just kind of watching him left and right, left and right, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And it didn't seem to make me so, so dizzy. However, all the blood went to my feet. Like I could feel it rush down to my feet and that was kind of an uncomfortable feeling. That wasn't the, the greatest feeling in the world. Look at this over here. Battle for the bird. We got an alien invasion here at Kennywood. It says battle for the Berg. We got these aliens. Now are these aliens on the same team as these guys over here, Cosmic Chaos? Now, Cosmic Chaos currently closed, I'm assuming due to the weather, but look at these guys over here. Look at these little guys. They got, they got theme park food. This guy's just lounging. He's playing with a rock. I don't, I don't, and that rock's really weighing him down. He's like almost falling over. This guy's enjoying some fries. This guy's got some popcorn. It's pretty awesome. Now, are you guys on the same team as these guys? You guys, you don't look the same. Or are you battling them for the Berg? Is this, is this like a, uh, who's going to take control of it? Or are we as humans not even in this fight? The fight's between you guys? Oh dear. We got another little guy behind the chaos ride. He's, he's staring at his hand. He's like, I'm wet. What is this H2O? This is cool. We got a little wishing well here. All proceeds go to life's work of Western PA. You can, it's not very deep. It's, it's not much of a well, but you can throw your coins in there and make some wishes. We got this giant mushroom <laughs> water fountain. That's a water fountain, that mushroom. Now, it sounds like the music, we're probably going to get a copyright claim here because the music is so loud. I don't know if it's just that the music's extremely loud or it's just because there is nobody here. This is a midsummer Sunday, but it's rainy and it has kept a lot of people away. I'm not gonna complain with that though. The Parkside Cafe. And we got Blizzard Blast Creamery. We're just wandering aimlessly. I don't, I don't really know where we're going. There we have a beautiful carousel horse on display right next to the real thing. I do like old carousels. I don't ride them much because the whole spinny thing, you know, it's it's funny. These, these things make me sick. But that, that alien invasion ride, that thing was okay. Definitely a traditional amusement park for sure. Making our way to Jack Rabbit, this little wooden coaster here. Oh look, this is where we walked in. Right there is the Sky Rocket roller coaster. We, we did a big loop. Well, a small, we did a big small loop. Jack Rabbit. We got some historic photos here of Jack Rabbit. This is an old ro roller coaster. Look at that, 15 cents or 25 cents for the ride. Look at these. I always love old photographs. There's Jack Rabbit there. Ghost ship. Look at that. I'm getting too short. I'm too short. We can't see these photos anymore. There we are, Jack Rabbit. 100 years was established in 1920, so it's actually a little more than 100 years old. This is an old coaster. This is gonna be. This is gonna be. This is gonna be fun. Now, according to RCDB, it says it has a 40 foot height. Of it goes up to 40 feet, but a 70 foot drop. So I don't know if that's a typo or if we like go off of the side of an edge or in a tunnel or something. I don't know. There's something. Something funny going on here with this, but, but yeah, here they go. Go ahead. I don't know why, but whenever we're riding a water coaster, the drop just makes me. <laughs> that was fun. That was so much fun. Now, there's no way to really get a good view of that to show you. So I'm going to try and, and like maybe find some pictures and insert them in right now while we're talking, but. That was an awesome coaster. So it was like a little valley in the middle. And then you you initially go out and you go down a drop. And then that's not even the main drop. Then you go up the chain lift like halfway through the ride. You go up this chain lift and then you start to drop. 
you, you stop dropping and then you start dropping again. It's like a double, they, they said the one and only double dip. I didn't know what they were talking about. They're talking about it's a double dip drop. It was a double dip drop. That was fun. You were out of your seat, weren't you? He was like, oh, I'm out of my seat. It was good. We're gonna go over here to Racer now. This little section here reminds me of like a little boardwalk. Right here we have the, the Steeler roller coaster over here. Unfortunately, this coaster is not running today. We're not gonna get a chance to, uh, to ride this, to experience this one. Um, it, it's closed, it's been closed for a few weeks, I believe, or going to be a few weeks. But RP3 was telling me it has such a unique drop. Cause if you can see, you get to the top of the chain lift there. So you come up here, you get to the top of the chain lift, you come down, you do an inversion that's just as high as the top of the chain lift, at least close to it. And then you come down this way into almost immediately another inversion right there that's up in the air like that again. That is, that's very interesting. We're gonna hop on Racer though, because that one is open. I believe this is a, a racing roller coaster. That's why it's called Racer. And I think it's two coasters in one. The Racer, built in 1927 and designed by John Miller, who also did the Jackrabbit. The Racer is one of the world's unique roller coasters. It's a continuous track, thus the train that begins on the right finishes on the left and vice versa. Only two other coasters have this feature. One is in Blackpool, England, on the Irish Sea. The other, I don't know how to say that, part in Mexico City. So the racer is right back here. That was that was fun. So it is different the way it's one continuous track. So if you get on on the right station, you get off on the left station because it just kind of loops around. It's kind of like one big coaster, but they split it in two rides. So we got on the right side. We were in the blue train. Uh, then we got out of the left side. We quick ran back around. We got on the same train, the blue train, before it went again because there's no line. And we sat almost in the same seats and that was, it was fun. We won both races. So blue train for the win, two and oh on racer. This is really neat over here. These are little remote control trucks. You use this little, this little control station here where you can put it in drive, neutral, reverse. You got a horn. You can also pick up or drop your, your load there. Look at this little thing just driving around. There's trailers you can pick up. This is cool, RC trucks. What do we got here? It's $3 per play. Wonder how long that lasts you. That looks like a fun time. Looks like they have the whole Steelers country section blocked off, unfortunately. Sorry, this traction, attraction is currently unavailable. It's not just the attraction though. They have the whole area blocked off. So Steelers country will have to be visited some other time. Now, the little guy, He's not a Steelers fan. He's an Eagle all the way, but he loves football. So he was really excited to this, check out this little area. So that's kind of a bummer, but that gives us a reason to have to come back, right? Yeah. So far, we've only been here like what, an hour, hour and a half? We've done a lot already. This is a, a cute park. I like this, this is fun. And the crowd level is nice. He wants to head back up to Skyrocket. It was called Skyrocket, right? The first coaster we did. We're gonna head back up to the front of the park and do that, and then we'll make our way back down this way. I missed this when we were over here before, but historic landmark, the racer built in 1927, the Pittsburgh History and Landmarks Foundation. Ace roller coaster landmark. American coaster enthusiasts recognize this Kennywood's racer as an ace roller coaster landmark. Awesome. In a squirrel moment here, we got in line for this sawmill. It's a little boat ride. We're not quite sure what this is. I don't know if it's like a kiddie ride or National Historic District Old Mill, originally built in 1901, but, but completely reconstructed in 1926. The Old Mill has gone through several name changes, being called Garfield's Nightmare since 2004. It was even called the Panama Canal during the building and the famous engineering feat before World War I. One thing it was never called was the Tunnel of Love. What is this? Shrek. It's 
got his arm off trying to get the keys. Will he escape? That was really neat. Spoiler alert, I don't believe he escaped. So this is actually right where we walked into the park and here's Skyrocket. I don't know how we didn't notice that. I, maybe I saw it and didn't know what it was. That was a cute little boat ride. That is not what I expected that to be. That was cool. But back to some coasters. We just randomly wandered through this little whale's mouth and up into Noah's Ark. And that was a crazy fun house. That was so cool. That was neat. It was filled full of Noah's animals and, and lots of trickery. Really hurt the brain a little bit in a few spots. There was like multiple tunnels. I don't know if we can, if we're allowed to record in there, but if we are, we're gonna go back in there in a little bit. That was fun. We got. Another roller coaster over here. There's another roller coaster over there. There's a turtle thing over there. What is that turtle thing? Turtles, turtles. Also, Lost Kennywood. That's supposed to be like a lost continent over there. Interesting. Very interesting. We're gonna check out Pittsburgh's Lost Kennywood. I don't know if it's like just one ride over here, just this roller coaster, or if there's a whole nother section of park. Not entirely sure. Whenever I come to new places like this, so we go to Disney, Universal a lot, and you know, Dorney, Six Flags recently. We kind of know our way around. It's always nice to come to a park and get lost. Have no idea where you're going. This one's kind of a confusing park too. There's definitely more than one ride over here. It's like a whole little area. I didn't realize there was this big of a section over here. So this is pretty cool. We got this water ride right here, this flume ride that goes down into these fountains. Now the fountains aren't part of the actual ride system, but it makes it a large, large little area here. We're missing some water in this fountain. Here we have some boards put up for the 125th celebration. Kennywood, Kenny's Grove in the 1800s. At the early years. Oh look right here. That must be the sawmill right there. Kennywood Park. Enjoying the roller coaster right there. Oh, here's the Noah's Ark, right there, opened in the 1930s. Wow, that's a little bit different. We didn't take that path, but we probably saw that draft. We got the 1970s, we got a log flume here, which just happens to be sitting right here. We got a log flume, one of the logs, right there. The potato patch. I love old photographs like this. I know this is just a children's puppet show, but that's slightly, slightly creepy. Right there, it must have been called the Log Jammer. Kenny Woods open. We got the whip, cotton candy. There's a river rapid ride here somewhere. I forgot about that. I did see that. I wonder where that's at in the park. And we got the 1990s. Good night. Why are we saying good night? Good night to the 90s? Is there a chairlift here? This is a roller coaster. I don't know where that's at. We, we missed that somehow. We got to try and find that. And then we got to today. Oh, look at this. Now we're talking some horror. <laughs> Literally today, this, this ride spin Beijing open this year. We rode that. I rode that. Oh, look, Thomas. There's a Thomas train here. Right next to those boards that we were looking at right there, had that building, that's where all those, those 
photographs were. We have a whip right here, which is interesting. I Typically every whip I have ever seen was covered. This one has no roof on it. And right over here is that exterminator ride. The exterminator. I think that's an indoor roller coaster. We're gonna be able to try that. That was fun. So that was Wild Mouse meets Tilt-A-Whirl meets Dark Ride. So you're, you ride a rat, you ride along a rat and a bunch of people are trying to, a bunch of exterminators are trying to make you no longer exist in this world. This Tilt-A-Whirl's loud. No, or not Tilt-A-Whirl, whip, whip. Oh my goodness. I had Tilt-A-Whirl in the brain because of that ride. That was fun. Was that fun? We're gonna ride the whip? Yeah, let's go on the whip. This little flat ride here where you, you strap into the seats and kind of go back and forth swinging around while uh, going high up in the air. It is temporarily closed, but it's interesting because the theming for the entrance, look at that, Black Widow. That's top-notch theming right there for this little flat ride. I like it. I don't like that type of ride, but I like that giant spider. I don't know if this is a very smart place to stand. I think I'm gonna be safe. I think I'm out of the splash area. But I'm waiting for this this plunge. Here it comes. Oh! All right. My calculations were correct. No splash. I cheated. I, I was looking at the ground. It's dry there, wet there. I, I knew we were pretty safe, but that was cool. It seems like there's a little bit more of a crowd coming now. The weather is turning out to be quite nice. It's not right, Phantom. It's becoming quite a nice day. Yes. The Phantom silently says yes. Just loop back up around this pirate ship. Also, the music express that we see skyrocket in the background back there. I do like just even the subtle theming. So, like the pirate ship, we have a little pirate sitting there on a treasure chest. Want to ride the pirate ship? No. Oh yeah, Noah's Ark is right there. All right, we're looping around. I just want to. I'm not. We're not riding the pirate ship. I just want to go see this pirate guy. Look at him. See even the subtle theming here in line here. That's. I like this park. This is fun. This is a good amusement park. You want to ride it? He just tapped me on the shoulder and said, let's ride it. All right. All right, we'll ride it. I'm not a big fan of the pirate ships. But, okay. Arr. You be the captain of this ship. We, we caught a little air. We had a little bit of air time over there on that vessel. Are you the captain? I'd like to, I'd like to submit a formal complaint that you were awesome. Good job. We're gonna go over to Cosmic Chaos. Looks like they had just opened it. There's nothing in the form of blocking off the line. Let's go hop in. Here at Kenny's Cabanas, you can rent your own personal cabana, but beware, the cabanas are not waterproof. Well, that would kind of sink, stink. You you know, rent one out and leave your stuff there. It pours and then your stuff's all wet. We're back at the Ark again here. Noah's Ark, little fun house. That was a good old time. Look at this. It's Thomas Town. I think this is going to be a little kitty area, obviously. Oh, look, that's cute. What is that ride? You ride around on the fire trucks and it looks like you squirt and spray the fire out that's cute is this a big train over here or is this a little train there's a big thomas the train route 66 race or race two route 66 is this a big train look at this thomas Hey Thomas, how you doing today? Yeah, pretty good. Weather's weather's pretty nice now, isn't it? 
pretty cool. There we have Thunderbolt, that roller coaster there, and Ghost Manor, I think that's what it was called, a little dark ride. The lines are starting to actually become lines now, unfortunately. I'm just sitting on this bench here, adjacent to Thomas, and I realized there's a little drop down right here. It's cranky. It's cranky. Little, little wee. That was cool. That was fun. It, it, there's Harold. Isn't that Harold, the helicopter? Right? This is pretty neat here. That is pretty neat. That's exactly what it is. You can go up and down on the towers and try and put the fires out. That's so cool. Here we got a bunch more. We got Percy and James, Emily and Gordon. And yes, I used their little name tags because otherwise I would have no idea except maybe Port Percy, <laughs> Percy, maybe Percy, maybe Gordon, Emily and James. No idea. Look at these guys. This is this little, this little area is awesome. This is so cool. You used to be a big fan of Thomas back in the day. Now you're a big fan of football. What the heck? The Thomas area is open and the football one's closed. Bummer. Look at these little Harold helicopters. Here we go. The auto race Route 66. Now, about a month ago, a little over a month ago, I got to see the beginning and the end of Route 66, but I didn't drive any of it. I took my, I took a plane ride. I cheated, but we went from the beginning. Oh, look, Kitty Land. But we saw the beginning and the end of Route 66 in real life. Downtown Chicago and the Santa Monica Pier, Los Angeles, California. Randy's driving in this, on this wooden road. RP3, he's driving on this wooden road. It's a little bumpy. It's a little bumpy. This is pretty neat, this little wooden road race car. Auto race. Here in Kitty Land, if you have a phobia of clowns, it's quite disturbing because the first thing you see when you walk in is this trash can. Look at this guy. He's like, give me your trash. Hey, you guys look pretty similar. Nice. These little swings are super cute. And then we got these little elephants. And then there's a little tilt-a-whirl. It's kind of tough to see because it's so small. And then a Ferris wheel behind it. And a little roller coaster back there. Man, Kitty Land is packed. It's packed with rides. Here we have Leo the Lion. I don't really know what his purpose serves. It, it looks like you people shove trash in there. Is this a trash can? Is, is that what that's supposed to be? That's a weirdly dancing RP3. Moving on. Hey, I saw something you might like over here. What? I told you you'd like this. Look, you got pizza wings. You're like a pizza angel. Look at that. No, your arms aren't your wings. The pizza's your wings. Oh my goodness. Now it looks like you had giant pizza ears. Nice. That's a nice fountain. I like that fountain. It's pretty. Oh my God. <laughs> It must have got a little breezy. Started getting a little wet. Here we are at Ghostwood Estate. It's a dark ride. When we walked past before, this was full. This line was full. I don't know what happened here. There ain't much going on now. I think we just go up these stairs and get on. Maybe. Maybe not, actually. It looks like the line comes out that way. Hmm. <laughs> Some, some little ones are getting scared. That was a fun little shooter game. What'd you think? 
a little short, but it's one of the ones where you shoot the targets and then things happen. I liked it. We did stop at one point. We were just sitting in the one room, so we hit like every target like 15 times. We know what everything in that room. That was fun. It's getting sunny out here. He can't even, like, he's blinking. He's like, ah, it's sunny. Woo! Roller coaster. Look at the beautiful waterfall. It's a tiny little waterfall. We are going to start venturing our way to the front of the park. It's quite early, but we did a lot. We got a lot of rides done. Little guy's feet starting to hurt. We're gonna, we're gonna head out. Take a leisurely stroll, but a stroll to the end. Oh, look, I think we rode that thing. So it was closed earlier and then it opened up and then we were the first ride when it opened. Pretty wild, oh, I think it's ending now. Darn. Here we have another fountain. I said this earlier, but the music in this park is so loud. Like if we're at like a rock concert right now. I can't hear myself think. Excuse me, sir. Sir, can you point me towards the exit? Oh, you, you already are? Oh, this way. Okay. It's a cute little windmill right here. Right next to the old mill. And the sky rocket. The sky rocket is obscured from those trees currently. Kennywood. Always a good time. All roads lead to Kennywood. Good night. And that is going to do it for this Kennywood adventure. Fun amusement park. I liked it. It was it was good. Really reminded me of Knobles. Uh, it fun, fun amusement park. Some great rides, some great theming, some good roller coasters. We couldn't ride Steel Curtain, unfortunately, uh, and we also didn't ride uh, Phantom and Thunderbolt. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> I couldn't think of what it was called. Pretty sure that's that's the name of it. But but yeah, so that gives us a reason to have to come back here. So. Kennywood Amusement Park, West Mifflin, Pennsylvania. If you enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe to the channel. We do lots of filming locations, theme park videos, and random things from time to time. And until next time, be good, have fun, and learn something.